Our principal concept of mechanics is to simplify things, known as mathematical modeling. In mathematical modeling, we take a real-world situation and turn it into the simplest form of what we call free body diagrams. Free body diagrams have arrows as forces. So when we have components of forces, the idea is to break it down into x-axis, horizontal component, and y-axis, vertical component, in the same way as we do SOKATOA, a basic trigonometric ratio using opposite by hypotenuse for sine theta and adjacent by hypotenuse for cos theta. We put the force in an axis. So if we have a force F on the first quadrant, and the angle that it makes with the x-axis is theta. We break down x-axis and y-axis, a horizontal and a vertical component, and if this angle is theta by corresponding angle, this is also going to be theta. And we can either do the math or we can just memorize this trick. If the component has theta with it, it is going to be cos. So this component, horizontal component, is going to be f cos theta, and the other component is going to be sine f sine theta. This is using the basic concept of trigonometry. Now in the other quadrant, we can again take this force as f and theta with the x-axis. The theta can be with any axis. The idea is the component that has theta with it. So if this is theta by corresponding angle, this is also going to be theta. The component that has theta attached with it this component, the horizontal component over here, is going to be cos. So this is going to be f cos theta, and this is going to be f sine theta. Now, if we have in the third quadrant, so f is this, and the angle that it is making is theta, so we can break it down into this component and this vertical component. So if this is theta, this is going to be f cos theta, and this is going to be f sine theta. And in the fourth quadrant, if it makes an angle of theta, so this is going to be f cos theta and f sine theta. It is important to remember that the original force f has been broken down into horizontal and vertical components, so we don't have to use it anymore.